Hi students, I have something pretty cool to show you. Um, we're gonna do some symbolic variables and symbolic functions, and we're going to use those to have MATLAB compute a derivative and an integral for us. So check this out. Um, I use the keyword sims, and I'm going to create a symbolic variable x. So this means I'm creating an x, but I'm not filling it with anything. I'm just keeping it in terms of the variable x. So then I can create a function. I'm just going to do a simple polynomial, just x squared. And now um, f gets populated with x squared. Not any particular value that gets squared, but just symbolically x squared. So then um, we can take the derivative. I'm going to make a variable and call it fp for f prime, and then the function is called diff. So diff is going to take the derivative of our symbolic function f. So if you computed this derivative by hand, you would expect it to be 2x, right? Well, look at that. Um, MATLAB gets the same result, 2 times x. We can um, make f double prime, fpp is equal to the derivative of f prime, and this gives us just plain 2. The other thing we can do is we can compute the integral. So I'm going to create a variable, um, a symbolic variable, I'll call it int f, and I set that equal to the function that computes the, der the integral for us is just int. So int of f is x cubed over 3. Now suppose you want to evaluate these functions at a particular value of x. So let's say now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set x equal to something in particular. How about 2? So then if you look over on my um, workspace variable list, instead of x being a symbolic variable, it's now an integer with a value 2 stored in it. So now what do I do? I do, I use this um, the keyword is subs, and that's for substitute. So what that's going to do is it's going to take that x equals 2, and it's going to substitute it into the function that I pass in as input to the subs function. How about that? Did you follow that? Me neither. OK, so if I put subs f, that's going to take x equals 2 and substitute it into my symbolic function f. So 2 squared is indeed 4. Let's do it for our derivative derivative subs of f prime. That's going to take x equals 2 and substitute it into our f prime function, which was 2 times x, so that's great. Let's do it for our integral function, subs int f. So this should gives a, give us 2 to the third over 3, and that's indeed 8 over 3. So um, that's how to use symbolic functions in MATLAB to compute derivatives and integrals. Let me know if you guys have any questions.